Here we got a raccoon. We're going to go through skinning a raccoon. Start them out on a table or laying down anywhere tailgate. First thing I always do is put on rubber gloves. Raccoons are one of the more notorious fur bears for um, having diseases and things like that. So just take any extra precaution. It makes cleanup easier and it's just it's uh, easier all the way around. But all right, raccoons are going to be case skin, so we're going to start at the legs and basically pull the skin out inside out. So the first thing I'm going to do is here at the back legs, I'm going to make a ring around both ankles. All right, and then I'm going to make a cut up to the anus. And one kind of trick here that you can do to get a little bit of extra length is instead of going a length out of your finished hide is instead of cutting, you know, straight up the up the leg, you kind of make a cut in here along the inner leg and then loop it back around. And that'll give you, you know, a little bit of extra length on your hide. You don't want to get too carried away because you don't want to make it obvious. But so I'll just kind of grab the foot and just run my knife in and just bring it on up do the other one like I say on the inside of the leg and bring it on up and then I'll flip him over and I'll locate locate his anus and then here's where that cut is so I'll start right here at the base of the tail right here at the top and cut around the anus and meet that cut there so then that one's connected and then I'll see where this cut ended and it's right here so I'll start at the base again. All right, and then that one's con let's see. Now that one's connected. Now we'll take this, and you may have to start it with your knife sometimes, but a lot of times you can just pull it and just peel him off, peel him back to about the knee. All right, now we'll take him and go hang him and finish that out. All right, now we've got him hung. What we want to, first thing we want to do is strip this tail out. So I've got my, my cuts are already made. So I'll just continue to work pulling this down, pulling this hide down. I want to use a knife as little as possible. And just coons are pretty easy to skin. So the less knife, you, knife work you do, the less cuts you're likely to get. We want to get it down to the tail. Alright, so we got it down to the tail and now I'm using my knife and going in here at the base of the tail. I want to make me a hole at the base of the tail all the way through. And there, I have my hole all the way through at the base of the tail. I'll grab that, squeeze it tight, and I'll take my knife and run it down the tail, being very very careful and cautious not to get too carried away because I'm cutting towards myself, but run it down the tail and split that tail just a little bit. And then work the tail down some as it's split. You gotta be careful because this is it's easy to you gotta be careful because it's easy to uh, you know break your tail right here. So for tail stripping you can buy a tail stripper or a pair of just regular pliers. Works pretty good. Um, and I just put the, tie, the pliers, the tail in between the pliers, grab the pliers like that with the tail between my two middle fingers, grab it firm and then grab the base of the tail and pull separate ways and it just comes right out. Then take our knife and just finish splitting this tail out. That way we don't want to forget and leave the tail unsplit and it wind up rotting or anything on us. So we'll finish splitting that tail out. All right, now we've got him spun around. This is a male coon, so we've got his testicles and his penis here, and we'll just make a cut right in between those. And actually, um, you know, when a coon gets put up, you put the inspection window in anyway, so that's not going to be that big of an issue. You can, you can make a cut below the penis here, but you pull everything down, cut it free, and now you're ready to ready to start pulling. 
First thing, before I get carried away, I like to do is cut the front legs off and I just got me a pair of limb loppers. And I usually get somewhere right around the front, the first ankle there. Give it just a quick snap. Go ahead and cut those front feet off and discard them. You'll wind up cutting some of that front leg, the fur off too when you put it up, but if you if you've got a meat market, um, you know, I like to leave as much of the leg on as possible. So I like, I just usually cut them off at the ankle and then as I put the hide up, I'll cut those off. But now we should just get to, get to pulling on the hide and we'll start at the back, kind of spin him around a little bit and just grab the, the base of the tail. Don't grab the tail in case that were to break, but just work him around. Especially a fresh skin will skin a fresh coon will skin pretty pretty easy if you need to get some traction and get some grip. Roll the hide up a little bit where you got a little bit of that hide there, and just put put your body weight into it, pulling it down, kind of trying to keep it even as you go. All right, now I'm getting down to the to the front legs. I'll take right here between the front legs, put my thumb under the hide and make a fist and just kind of push down on that to get some of that hide started. And then I'm going to break loose a, a little bit of this hide right here on the back as we get ready to try to go through the legs here. And then I can, like I said, as little knife work as possible, I can use my fingers and kind of pull that skin down. And pull that leg out and then I can just use my thumb I've got the elbow here just kind of press my thumb through until I might get it all the way through and then just like we did on the tail just kind of grab and pull both ways and that legs free pull this pull this hide down a little bit we'll do the same thing on the other side just kind of be feeling for where the edge of the hide is Pull it on down, grab that elbow, work your thumb through, pull it apart. And then those leg holes give you a good spot to get some room to get a grip. And now is where most of your most of your knife work is going to come into play. So we'll spin them around and coming off the neck, the shoulder area is real gristly. So that can take a little bit of extra work. But you, all, you want to be careful, especially right here around these the, the front arms. Sometimes that hide can stick where you wouldn't expect it to stick. So you know, be particular about that. Watching, make sure you, you're cutting meat and not hide. Again, you want to make sure your knife, you're cutting 90 degrees to the hide, not at a, or to, the, to the animal, the, the, the body, not at an angle. That'll, reduce your risk of cutting the hide. Then I just like to get a get a make a fist grabbing on the head and just pulling as I cut. And I'd rather leave a little bit of extra room in there than cut too much. So generally you can see like there you can see the hide and where it's starting to roll down and this is all meat. So it's a safe safe to cut there. And you just work him around. We should be getting close to the ears. I can feel the feel the ear right there, and that's right at the base of it. So I'm just going to take my knife and cut straight in. And you can see there, I cut the ear. Didn't get it right at the base, but that's still plenty to where you'll have a good ear hole, not too big. That gives you another good finger hole. Just work him down. Ear should be the same on the other side, right in here. So I'll cut in. There's the ear. Grab that, and then next up we got the eyes coming, so we need to be be careful about, we don't want to give him too big of an eye. There's the eye on that side, and just, if anything, you want to err on the side of, you know, dulling your knife, cutting on the skull versus cutting the hide. So there's, there's the, the mouth there, so that'll give you a good finger hole. And I cut straight in. When I find that eye, I cut straight in until I've cut all the way through the eye. 
and work it on around. And here's the other eye. Cut straight in, and you'll get all that tear duct and everything. You won't make it too big. It's not a big big deal if you make it big, but it just helps in the your presentation of your hides, and that's ultimately what what's going to help them sell. And then I just keep pulling, keep downward pressure, and just use my knife very lightly. All right, so now we've got down here to the nose. I know that's the nose, so I'm just going to put it put the knife right up against the the skull and just cut straight in cut straight down all right so then you got the bottom jaw is what's attached and for the fur trade the bottom jaw is not necessary so you can just cut that right off and there's your skin raccoon hide turn it inside out And now that's ready to go in the freezer or go on the stretching board or whatever you want to do with it.